on Dawn of Sunshine Stitches. Today we're doing this kitty cat bag. It's a simple number three zipper. It is a five by seven. If you're using a light or soft vinyl, you will need to add an extra piece of tear away under the design and also add a piece of wash away over the top before you start stitching so it holds your stitches up. This is my Punk Broidery's parlor paper. It holds stitches really well. Next I'm going to stitch with the coconut flake. Unfortunately both of these are discontinued but she does have others that are very similar and will take the stitch as well. But again, if it's a soft vinyl, add a piece of tear away underneath and float it and add your wash away on top. You will need a number three nylon coil zipper, one inch wide your front of your bag, your back of your bag, and two pieces of lining. You can add a wristlet if you would like. The first step is the outline. The second is to place your zipper. The bottom of your zipper is your placement line for your zipper and your lining. So I'm going to grab a zipper that's just a little longer, use this as my placement guide, and tack that in place. Okay, we just added our zipper. Now we're doing the only multitasking step in this bag. Working on the back of your hoop, you can see that I marked the bottom of the zipper as the lining placement. You want to place it right side down, just below that line, and tape that in place. Okay, once that's taped in place, you want to turn to the front of your hoop. Bring that over the top of your hoop, tape it in place so it doesn't get caught in your stitching on the back. Grab the front of your bag and you're going to place it right side down. We're doing the fold over method and you're going to stitch both those pieces in place at the same time. Okay, that's all stitched in place on the front. Your lining is attached in the back. Now you're going to pull your vinyl down, gently press it up underneath your zipper teeth, and we're going to stitch right across that same line. Okay, we just stitched right under our zipper, gave a nice finished edge to our vinyl under that zipper. If you're going to float an extra piece of tear away, now is the time to add that on the back of your hoop, and I just save my scraps and tape those in place. That's on the back of the hoop. On the front of the hoop, this is where you add your wash away to make sure your stitches stand up. Some vinyls are softer than others, and this is a thin satin stitch. On this bag, I did not have to do that, but I want to show you the technique here. Now we're going to run the entire cat design. Okay, there's all the stitching of our cat and the butterfly, and there's lots of little jump stitches, so you'll probably need to pick. I get mine from Harbor Freight. I'm going to go ahead and trim this and remove my wash away and my tear away. This is what the back looks like, and I just removed my tear away. It's also time to pull our lining down. You should see the right side. Go ahead and tape that in place and we're going to run the second line of stitching right under that zipper. Okay, all our stitching is done. Now we're going to move our zipper tab to the middle. If you're adding a wristlet tab, do that now. Place your back. Okay, we're ready to cover the bag with our back. You want to put it right side down. Make sure you cover all of your outline. Okay, our back is attached. Now working on the back of your hoop, we're going to add our second and final piece of lining. Again, right side down. Cover your entire stitching outline. Make sure you tape that in place. Okay, you're all done with your stitching. Take it out of the hoop. Remove your tear away. Trim it and you're going to turn it twice 
once through the bottom lining, once through the zipper. And that is your kitty cat. Thanks so much. Have a sunshine day.